error number eight, we're verifying that that our uh, solution works in this system. Uh, so here when I do my derivative, I'm going to write it in matrix form. Uh, I need to be careful though because I have what I have inside the matrix and then I have e to the t outside. So I'm going to start by, uh, I'll use the product rule. This is my u times v. So for my x prime, I'm going to get the derivative of 5 cosine t. That's going to give me a negative 5 sine t. That's my u prime times, I'll give myself a little space, times v e to the t plus v prime is also e to the t times u. For my second expression, uh, here I get uh, u prime is 3, or u is 3 cosine t minus sine t. So u prime is going to be negative 3 sine t uh, minus cosine t. That gets multiplied by e to the t plus e to the t times 3 cosine t minus sine t. So I'm going to get plus 3 cosine t and then minus sine t. And I'm going to simplify this. The, uh, the numerator I'm just going to keep as is. If I wanted to, I could factor out a 5. But I think I'll just keep it the way it is. In the denominator, I do, not denominator, but in, the, in this second row, I can combine like terms. I can combine my negative 3 sine t and my negative 1 sine t to give me negative 4 sine t. And I can de uh, combine my negative cosine t and my positive 3 cosine t to give me a positive 2 cosine t. So here's my x prime. I want to show that, uh, here I'll do this also in matrix form. You don't have to do this in matrix form. I just want to show that you can. I want to show that the system is true. x prime is negative 2x, 5y, negative 2x, 4y, that this is true. So my x prime is negative 5 sine t plus cosine t uh, plus 5 cosine t in the first row and negative 4 sine t plus 2 cosine t in the second row all multiplied by e to the t and that should be equal to I've got negative 2 and 5 in the first row and negative 2 in the and 4 in the second row multiplied by x. And my x is given to me up here as 5 cosine t and 3 cosine t minus sine t times e t. I'm going to use matrix multiplication to try to get this expression on the left side. Uh, and so when I multiply, here I'm going to get negative 2 times 5 cosine t. That's going to give me a negative 10 cosine t. And I'm going to get 5 times my second row. That's going to give me a plus 15 cosine t minus 5 sine t. And for my second row I'm going to get negative 2 times 5 cosine t. That's going to give me a negative 10 cosine t uh, plus 4 times
times the second row. And 4 times the second row is going to give me a 12 cosine t minus 4 sine t. And I have that e to the t outside. And the e to the t just carries along. Uh, now when I combine like terms, I have in the first row I have these cosine t terms. That will combine to give me 5 cosine t minus 5 sine t. And in the second row, again, I can combine my cosines. Negative 10 cosine plus 12 cosine gives me a 2 cosine t minus 4, cos minus four sine t, e to the t. And that should be equal to what I have here. 5 cosine t minus 5 sine t, e to the t. And negative 4 sine t plus 2 cosine t, negative 4 sine t plus 2 cosine t, e to the t. And that checks.